Hello, hello. <coughs> Bloody hell. <coughs> hello, this is another dungeon. We're going to do Alderman. Now, I've done this before. But I'm going to try it doing, doing it live, per se. Not with an audience, no. I'm still sitting here on my own, in my room. Um, just because oh, I can't be bothered to go back and put everything together and then commentate over it. So I'm just going to just gonna do it. I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to oh, get above. Increase stamina, that's always good. Okay, so go left or right here. Uh, go left, why not? Um, and I do out level it. Okay, all right, yeah, fine. Everyone wants to go this way. Oh, whatever, whatever. There we go. There we go. My plan is, I'm gonna do all the dungeons just to catch up, and then I'm just gonna do them all live. Um, when I can. Oh, that's nice of him. Leveled up there. Lovely. Standard charge, rend, thunderclap. Revenge when you can. Hmm. Hopefully we should be able to breeze past this. They got a lot of gnolls or whatever they're called. They're called old gnolls, aren't they? No, they're not gnolls. They're um trogs. Similar kind of thing. Terrible, terrible creatures they are. <laughs> now I'm just gonna open the map here while I'm tanking. Not good practice, but um yeah, this this is a boss here, but only for the horde. Because there are a load of dwarves. So throw back to um Oh, oh, oh dear. To an old blizzard game. And that's why you shouldn't open the map up while you're tanking. Um, Lost Vikings, I believe it is. Uh, I haven't played it myself, but I, I appreciate the reference there. Guys, um, so yeah, if you're Horde, go check them out. But I'm going to skip them because I'm Alliance. And uh, I don't have to kill them. So I'm just going to go this way. No, you follow me. You follow me. Very much. Basically, the the the, uh, the three dwarves. You, you fight them all at the same time. They have varying abilities, much like the game did. Lost Vikings. Here we go. Uh, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. I think we'll probably show it uh, when he does this dungeon. Alderman. So here we have the first boss. Rave. 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 Lush. Rave. Lush. He likes to party. <laughs> That's awful. That's so awful. That's so awful. I hate myself for that. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing much. He's got mana. Oh, he does chain lightning. That old trick. Nothing to worry about. Let's just get rid of this healing ward. It's not really doing anything, but it's, it's disturbing me. Now, what? What is with running away? It's ridiculous. Uh, take a. Yeah. Yeah, you saw that. You saw that. That was pro. Mm. Where? What's everyone doing? Why is everyone just like being crazy? Okay. So I went in between them. I'm backing up a bit just so they kind of funnel it into me. And it's always important to keep everything up front in you. You don't want anything coming from behind. No, sorry. Okay, there we go, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a lot of non non elite mobs here. And there's some stealth, as, as I recall. I'm just going to quickly rend something. Thunderclap them all, and watch the numbers fly. Oh, beautiful. And that, my friend, is why I'm top of DPS. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm like three levels above everyone else. But just beware. I'm just, I generally try and clear this room before I summon the boss. You summon it by pressing that keystone there. I don't know if they've changed it, but when I was playing on Horde, you had to collect the artifacts. That was a right pain because they were they were split up into two, and you had to like knead on them or roll on them or something, and one person had to pick up both of them, and you'd always get them split apart. Why why are people dying? Okay, let's get one of them off just to go thunderclap. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in the city. Okay, 
There we go, no sweat, no sweat. Okay, so I'm just going to summon it, see what happens. There you go, so you pop the thing in there, um, just pop, whip that out from nowhere, and it opens this door to, um, to Ayanaya. 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 I think she's not really much to worry about. Okay. It's like very, uh, I don't know, what's that from? Um, I want to say, oh, what's Indiana Jones? I want to say that. It's very Indiana Jones, you know what I meant. Okay, so this guy, um, I think she doesn't do anything that that crazy. I think she does um, an area of effect attack, if I recall correctly. Um, or she just stands there and just doesn't do anything. Oh, you can stun her. I did uh, the old uh, concussive blow there. So it's worth knowing. Some bosses you can stun, some bosses you can't. Oh, there you go, knocks you back and resets aggro. So beware of that. Make sure you've got a, a taunt ready for that and that's pretty much it pretty much it nothing to worry about there lovely so two bosses down We're ready to go now you can go various ways here I just tend to wing it I go a different way like every time um, so I think I'm actually yeah I'm going to take this boss first I think that's the one way I went last time and that is that way. So okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, if I do the McDonald's theme tune, it's because I had a McDonald's yesterday. That's that's why it's in my head. Every time I eat a Big Mac, it's just it gets stuck in my head. Um. this guy I'm gonna turn around and go kill this boss over here yep my sense of direction isn't quite failing me it's down there it's like a dwarfy guy I don't know nothing too bad the only thing you gotta watch out in this room is it's very easy to pull everything and there's quite a few little, little dwarfs around Sentinel. I think you need. Ooh. I think you need to pick something up from him. Um, what he drops. So make sure you do that for a quest. I quite like this dungeon actually. Although it's in like a dark cave, and I usually don't like dark caves and stuff. It's all right. It's it seems varied enough. And this guy, he just splits down. Um, it's a little, little, little bit of pieces. And they get progressively weaker. So. Apparently he doesn't drop anything. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you do that? So, there's nothing else to see here, so I'm going to go back out. And I'm going to go to this boss here, in the temple hall. I'm going to go this way. I can imagine, like, um, if you, before the maps were um, implemented, uh, recently, of the old dungeons, I can imagine this was a pretty big maze. Uh, people would get lost in quite a lot. Let's wait for my charge. Ah. Okay, so what's in there? Any, any elites? No, it doesn't look like it. Sneaky thunderclap. Move a bit, a bit of manoeuvring around here, just get everything in front of me. I'm not worried about him. Not worried about him at all. No elites here, so I'm just going to charge in, rend something, thunderclap everything, deal plenty of damage, revenge, cleave, I'll grab this guy. What's that? No, anything? No. As a tank, stack, stat wise, you should be really focusing on stamina and strength, really. Everything else will kind of come with that. Um, is this? Is this the next boss? Yeah, we'll find out. So I'm being a bit wary here that I'm not near the healer. You don't want to prevent line of sight. Um, 
So always be in, in the sight of the healer. I'll grab him as well if he comes. There we go. Stun him. So he doesn't do any damage. Okay. What I like to do often time, if, if I'm struggling on rage, I'll do a battle shout and then do a cleave. Just to get... Um, 